So now we come to mud packing, one of my favorite um, parts to our practice, because um, it's a really a lot of fun and people get dramatic results just with a single pack, one single application of a mud pack. You can have a significant 50%, 50% or more reduction in toxicity internally. And it's not invasive. So of course, a little bit of history, therapeutic clay packing is a time-honored tradition that crosses you know, eras and cultures. In Egypt, in the early days, the pharaohs used clay for its anti-inflammatory properties. Um, some of you may know this from history, that the ancients, like the Greeks and the Roman athletes during the Olympics, if they had an injury, they would be packed, and within 30 minutes, they were ready to go back into the competition. Okay, so the clay pack really has tremendous potential. Um, and not only does it help to restore tissue that's been damaged from injuries and traumas, but it also has the capacity to restore the cellular communication or the coherence of the meridians of the body. That's how powerful the mud packs are. Um, Native Americans used clay poultices to treat infections and injuries, and therefore the, wide, you know, the widespread use of it has been so popular. So how does it work, okay? So very simply, the hands and the feet and our feet contain hundreds of highly sensitive acupuncture points that are the, the main bioenergetic uh, release, okay, for the entire body. When they are blocked or out of polarity, the body's bioenergetic pathways can stagnate, okay, and literally buck back up. And that will lead to pain anywhere in the body. So you could have an elbow injury, but be getting headaches, okay? So a lot of times injuries were reflexed to a totally different, unexpected part of the body. And a lot of times you won't see the connection, but it has to do with the whole meridian. The natural detoxifiers in the therapeutic clays and muds are highly negatively charged ions. And toxins, on the other hand, and synthetic chemicals and scar tissue is positively charged. So you can see how that osmotic effect occurs with the mud packing. So scars, traumas, and adipose tissue contain toxic materials and cell wastes. So, you know, one of the reasons why it's so important for us to educate our patients to maintain a much lower body fat is that the potential of you know, attracting toxins to the body when you have a higher amount of body fat. I mean, they're saying in the research, as much as one pound of excess body fat is significant. So therapeutic clays will chelate toxins that may be jamming the whole electrical circuit of the body by absorbing waste through the osmotic effect. So the mineral rich clay provides essential detoxing nutrients. So when we incorporate the mud packing for detoxing, so let's say you're detoxing the liver or the gallbladder, okay? You always have to connect it to another uh, detoxifying, you know, outlet, whether it's the hands or the feet. So typically from the waist up, uh, if you have, let's say, a head trauma or if you have an abdominal injury that's further up, closer to the sternum, then that would actually uh, be connected to a hand, whether it's your right hand or your left hand. And if it's an injury from the waist down, typically it will reflex to a top, you know, a top of the foot, either the right side or the left side. So very effective, and uh, we have found that a lot of times uh, a single pack will hold for years. So that's how effective the mud packing is. 